In today's world of beautifully designed software, having a website that's simply functional without any design is no longer acceptable. So when I'm starting a new project, I want to make sure that it has an attractive visual design as well as the best user experience possible. This can be difficult, but that's why we have design systems, which are a set of guidelines to establish consistent design and user experience. Some popular design systems you may have heard of include Bootstrap, Bulma, and Material Design. Material Design is a design system popularized by Google, which encapsulates their design principles and guidelines. And while getting started with Material Design may seem as simple as downloading a CSS file and including it in your app, this does not take advantage of component design patterns that will help your app scale. Luckily, John Leader created Vutify, which is a Vue component library built according to the Material Design specifications that allow us to rapidly build beautiful applications. Vutify is a great choice because it is easy to use, has one of the most active and vibrant communities in the Vue ecosystem, it's patched regularly, and it has accessibility and cross-browser support built right in. And with that said, let's see what it's like to build something with Vutify. For this lesson, we're gonna show you just how powerful Vutify is by building one of the most common modules you'll encounter in your apps, the login module. A login module typically consists of a text heading, username input, password input, a register button, and a login button. Let's dive in. Here in the terminal, we will scaffold a new Vue app using Vue CLI. We'll call it Vutify Dashboard, and we'll use a default preset to keep things simple. Once we change directories into our project, we're going to add Vutify by using the Vue CLI plugin with a simple command Vue add Vutify. With the preset default, which is what most people will need. You'll see that Vutify has changed some of the files in order to make sure that everything is configured properly. Let's start up our local dev server and see how everything looks. When we visit localhost 8080, you will see that Vutify has replaced the content on the homepage. Now we've opened up our project in Visual Studio Code. What we have here on the right is an extension for VS Code called Browser Preview, which allows us to see the changes that we're making in the code. If we look in the app.view file, you'll notice that there are a lot of components that are prefixed with the V dash. This is how Vutify indicates that these components are part of its library. Let's look at the HTML that one of these components generates. If we take a look at the HTML that V dash spacer generates, you'll see that it is just a div with the class of spacer from the Material Design CSS. This is a simple example, and while it can get more complex, these are just view components. Now we'll clear out the boilerplate so we can start with a fresh page. First, we'll start by adding a v-card component, which serves as a container, and we'll drop an h1 to make sure everything renders correctly. Then we'll use the v-card title, which is a subcomponent, to make sure that the heading has proper spacing and positioning. Then we'll add the vcard text component, which serves as the body, and we'll wrap our inputs with the v form. Input elements are called text fields, and as you can see here, we can assign a prop of label, and in this case, we're doing username. And when you click inside username, you'll see it follows the material design spec by having the label jump up, decrease in size, and then when you lose focus, it drops back down as long as the value is empty. Next, we'll go ahead and do the password input field. And as you'll see here, when we go to type, we can actually see the password being typed, and this isn't right, because what's happening is text field defaults to a type text, so we'll need to set it explicitly at type password. Once we save and type, you'll see it is hidden as you would expect. Finally, we're going to add a vcard action subcomponent that will contain all our call to actions, in other words, our buttons, which is indicated by v-button. And now we've added our register and login button. Now that we have the main parts for our login module, we can now style it to make it look better. Let's start by adding some icons to text inputs. This can be easily done with the prepen icon prop. This allows us to generate an icon to the left of the username and ensure that it is properly spaced. The value that you provide to the prepen icon comes from a built in icon library that's already configured with Vutify when you install it. 
Now for the password, let's prepend it with the lock icon. We'll also need to add an icon to the end of the password input field to indicate whether or not the password is visible. So we'll go ahead and do that with the append icon prop. Finally, let's add some color to our buttons. We'll add the success color to register and the info color to login. Next, our login module is a little wide, so we'll add a width of 400 and use utility classes that Vutify provides us to center it on the page and provide some margin on the top. Then we'll add a V divider, which gives a little bit more visual space between the text body and the call to actions. And we'll add a spacer to allow the buttons to be split apart. As you'll notice, when a user types a password, they're unable to toggle the visibility. So in order to do this, we'll add a data property called show password that has a default value of false. Then we'll use the V bind directive to toggle the type on the password field based on show password. We also need to listen to the click event on the appendant icon. We can now write the JavaScript we need to toggle the value of show password. Now, when we click on the visibility icon, you can see that it toggles the password. However, this is still not quite right because as you can see, the visibility off icon is still on. What we need to do is use a vbind directive on a pen icon to dynamically swap out the icon based on whether it should be shown or not. Now, with the password visible, you'll see that the icon no longer has a slash through it. And that's all it takes to create a beautiful, accessible, and cross-browser supported login module with Vutify. To continue learning Vutify, be sure to check out their docs. And you can take a full course with me on viewmastery.com. Thanks for watching.